Good evening and welcome to this edition of Newsletter on 6. Today is Tuesday, July 26, 2016. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Andrew Todd. In tonight's news, the state of Tennessee might be holding some unclaimed money for you and we will tell you how you can claim it. A Tullahoma teacher won a great prize last week. Tennessee's unemployment rate held steady during the month of June and we will speak with the Republican candidates for state senator in the August primary elections. We will have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. It's time for every family and business in Tullahoma to go green and recycle. Tullahoma Public Works makes it simple and easy to recycle. Just place your recyclable materials, paper, plastic, aluminum, and cardboard beside your garbage container on the same day your garbage is picked up. Your recycled materials don't have to be in a fancy container. Recycling is not only the right thing to do, it makes sense. Recycling pays. Paying to bury our garbage costs each of us. Please do your part. Let's go green, Tullahoma, and recycle. The Tennessee Department of Commerce and Insurance's Division of Consumer Affairs wants consumers to be on the lookout for letters from the state of Tennessee indicating that they might have unclaimed funds. The state of Tennessee's Treasury Department Division of Unclaimed Property has recently sent a mass mailing of letters to consumers for which they have a record of unclaimed property. What are unclaimed funds? Unclaimed funds are intangible assets held by financial institutions or companies that have no activity or account holder contact for a year or more. This may include savings or checking accounts, refunds, customer overpayments, contents of safe deposit box, stock certificates, unclaimed wages, or gift certificates. To determine if you have unclaimed property on file with the state of Tennessee, you can visit the Unclaimed Property Division's website at www.treasury.tn.gov slash unclaim or call 615-741-6499. You can search for your name and if property is found, you can quickly submit a claim for it. There is no fee to claim your property from the state of Tennessee. To prevent accumulating unclaimed property, you should deposit or cash all checks for dividends, wages, insurance settlements, etc. without delay. Respond to legitimate requests for confirmation of account balances and stockholder proxies. If you have a safe deposit box, record its number, bank name, and address and give the extra key to a trusted person and prepare and file a will detailing the disposition of your assets. Tennessee Labor Commissioner Burns Phillips says Tennessee's unemployment rate for June was 4.1 percent, unchanged from the rate in May. The U.S. preliminary rate for June was 4.9 percent, up two tenths of a percentage point from the previous month. Tennessee's unemployment rate has decreased this year from 5.7 percent to 4.1 percent, while the national rate has decreased from 5.3 percent to 4.9 percent. Total non-farmer employment increased in the state by 11,200 jobs from May to June. Motlow State Community College will administer the high school equivalency test known as HiSET several times throughout the remainder of 2016. Test locations will be in Winchester and on the Motlow State, Fayetteville, Smyrna and Moore County campuses. As of April 1, 2016, the General Education Development or GED test is no longer an option for the high school equivalency diploma for residents of Tennessee. The HiSET is now the only option for residents of Tennessee who wish to obtain their high school equivalency diploma. Applicants interested in completing the HiSET must register online at HiSET.ETS.org or by calling 1-855-694-4739. The fee for the high set is $15 per test or $75 for the entire battery of test and is available in both computer and paper based formats. Applicants should contact the service delivery area, formerly the Adult Education Center in their community for information on preparation classes for the test and vouchers to take the test. Applicants must complete the online registration form and bring a notarized copy of the official practice test. 
present a government issued picture identification, confirmation letter, and an eligibility for enrollment form if applicable to the test. For more information regarding the test, visit the Modelo State Testing website at www.mscc.edu slash testing. And when we come back, we'll tell you why a Tullahoma teacher had a very happy day last week. More News Leader on 6 is coming up right after this. The Russell Barnett Automotive family is the largest automotive retailer in Southern Middle Tennessee. With over 1,200 vehicles to choose from, we are your one-stop shop. Check out our awesome website, RussellBarnett.com. There's over 1,200 vehicles to choose from. Stop by one of our five locations. That's Russell Barnett Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, Chevrolet GMC, and Ford of Winchester, or Russell Barnett Ford and Kia of Tullahoma. And remember, why buy anywhere else? All I have to do to think about what I was physically before and what I am now, and I don't ever want to go back to that original situation. The overall mission of the rehab team is always what is best for the patient and how we can facilitate maximum potential from every resident. Well, the most important thing to me is that I'm allowed to do whatever I need, want to do, you know. Everyday Miracles at Life Care Center of Tullahoma. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip and then boom. Adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Welcome back. The Stan McNabb Automotive Group held their annual new car giveaway at Tullahoma High School last week. Nine teachers from the uh, nine teachers of the year from the Tullahoma City School System were eligible to win a reverse draw, where the last one left won the use of a new car for a year. That last one person standing was the winner, and she was Reagan Osborne. Let's watch this video. We live in a community that truly values education as a program, truly invest in education for our community, and truly believes that education is the lifeblood to where we plan to go as a, as a growing community. The third thing that we're going to do this morning is to give away a car. And this is fun for me because I get to give away somebody else's. Um, a couple of years ago, Stan McNabb came to me and with an idea, and that idea said, we want to do something different. We want to do something that sets apart our community, our leadership, and our schools, and we truly want to give back and make the life of, of our community better related to public schooling. I would now love to invite our um, candidates for the drawing to Come on down. All right, we have nine Teacher of the Year candidates, and their names are all put in a bucket. A small barrel, a tub, if you will, and the last name left is going to leave with a car provided by the McNam Auto Group. Yeah, big stuff. I want to appreciate all the teachers here, all the people in education. It is very, very important to this country, what you guys do. So uh, I want to thank all the teachers for what you do. It really, all of us, the teachers are the backbone to our country, how we succeed in this world. We've got to have education. Just look around the world at what age they start educating their kids. So uh, we got a great school system here. We moved here in 1980, and it was great then and still improving. So I want to thank all of you. My family thanks all of you teachers very, very much. All right, we're down to two. We're going to draw one name, and the other person will walk away with the car. <laughs> oh, we're getting downright pageanty now. Let's see who wins this thing. 
Stan, you gonna be the guy? Trey's gonna be the guy. <laughs> you want, who do you want? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Trey's gonna be the guy. And the winner is Reagan Osborne. And these are the nine teachers that were involved in the drawing here with the McNabb family who give one teacher a brand new car to use every year. The use of a car for a year from the Stan McNabb dealership. And this is the winner with the Stan McNabb family getting the key to that brand new automobile. Craig McNabb here with Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. And uh, we just uh, gave a vehicle away to drive for a year. Uh, this is Reagan Osborne with me. And she's the lucky winner of, uh, uh, for the Tullahoma High School system, Tullahoma City School System. And uh, I can't remember how many years we've been doing this, but it's uh, been at least five years. So uh, we appreciate the support of uh, the teachers and the school system. And what, what qualified you to be in the drawing? I was the THS building winner of Teacher of the Year, and then I was the uh, Tullahoma City School System secondary winner for Teacher of the Year, and then I was also South Central Regional uh, Secondary Teacher of the Year. So they put me in the pot. That's awesome. We'll be right back after these messages. Hi, I'm John Greenwood. Let me tell you a few of the ways our parts and service team is committed to keeping your vehicle in top condition. Factory trained, certified technicians and ASC certified who can service all makes and models. Everyday low price oil change of $29.95 with a free 16 point vehicle inspection. For your convenience, schedule your next service appointment at stanmcnab.com. We'll get you in and out. Back on the road with peace of mind. Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, 1200 East Carroll, right here in Tullahoma, Tennessee. When your family suffers the loss of a loved one, the caring and compassionate staff at Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel are standing by to assist you in every way possible. We are proud to support local industry and offer only Batesville caskets. Many funeral homes don't own or operate a crematory. We utilize the only crematory in Coffee County. Your loved one never leaves Coffee County. We can accommodate any need and any budget. Consider our complete pre-need service to remove this burden from your family during their time of grief. Lock in today's low costs and protect from inflation. Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel. Our family caring for your family. If you drive buzzed, it could cost you around $10,000. You'll face major legal fees, major fines, and steep insurance penalties. You could lose everything. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Welcome back. Plans for this year's high school alumni football game are underway, and Jim spoke with the organizers of this year's game. In this segment, we got something that's going to be really exciting uh, to you, I guarantee you, because it's, it, it's it already sounded fun to me. Uh, just wish I was young enough to participate in that. And I've got some guys on the stage with me, some of which you're going to recognize because they're big, or they were big stars at one time and are going to be big stars again. Thanks to this guy here to my left, who's Jared uh, Hargraves. And uh, Jared, You've got a program called Alumni Football or something like that, USA. Tell us a little bit. First of all, introduce you guys that you brought with you today, and, and then tell us a little bit about what you're going to be doing. Well, we've got, uh, we've got our team captains here. Alumni Football USA, we do alumni reunion football games, and uh, we've been putting guys back in football gear for over 32 years now. Mm -hmm. And it's all about restoring the man, back to being a part of the program one more time, bringing the pride and tradition of the program. And so we have our captains from this year we're playing Tullahoma High School alumni versus Warren County alumni. And so we have Cass, uh, Jeffrey, and we have Alan over here. And uh, I deal with so many men, the last names, I deal with thousands of guys every year. So guys, uh, sorry about your last names, but uh, these are the leaders of their teams. And these guys get out there and they practice for six to eight weeks. And um, 
We've been able to put a fundraising mechanism in here and over the last five years uh, we've raised funds and put a little over 2.2 million dollars back into school football programs, back into the youth football programs and it's behind the guys like this to get to come out and bust each other up one more time. Is anybody over here over 30? No way. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 36. 36. 36. Okay. All right. How old are you now? I'm 21. 21. Yes, sir. I, and you played for, for Coffee County? Yes, sir. Okay. So you've been on this stage before probably. I think you were here on the football show. Maybe. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. I, I thought I remembered <laughs> you. Okay. Cass, of course, uh, quarterback for the Tullahoma High School 10 years ago. Yes, sir. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. So, All right. Go ahead. So, uh, so this year we wanted to be we're real thankful out here with you. We appreciate you having us on. Uh, it's it's four weeks out to the game. Mm -hmm. We're playing August thirteenth. It'll be a seven o'clock kickoff at Tullahoma High School. And uh, we just wanted to get the word out and let people know that, you know, the guys are practicing. There's a few spots left. We're picking starters this week and getting all that stuff going. And uh, it's a huge fundraiser for the program. But more than that, it's about uniting and bringing the community full circle. We'll have youth football, youth cheer. We invite the mayor and the police chief, the fire chief to come out and mm -hmm. attend. Uh, this year is our 32nd year. Uh, my boss is a Marine. We work with the military very often, and it's military appreciation and also first responder appreciation this year. And uh, so, so you know, one thing about football is that we all know a guy named Coach, and we all learn how to be the right. Yeah. We all learn how to be the right kind of guys and have our character right. And so we bring the guys back to that, and uh, we let these guys know that they're the leaders in their community, and and they need to stand up and and be that leader. And so they get to have a chance to do that in front of all the community and, and uh, it benefits the kids and everybody as well. Are you going to play with the, uh, with the uh, Warren County team or the, you're going to play with the Tullahoma yes, team? Yes, sir. Now that's pretty, that's pretty nice. We're going to play with one coffee this year. One coffee? Yes, sir. Oh, which is kind of the theme for the uh, Coffee County football team yes, sir. Yes, sir. right now. That, 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 is, that is really pretty cool. Because in case you don't realize out there, folks, there is a big rivalry here in this county between Tullahoma <laughs> and Coffee County. It won't work. It, it, it won't work. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so we got the battle of the counties going on this, this year. And, uh, yeah, this, this is, I already see some really neat drama. Developing, <laughs> developing in, in this program. Uh, could I ask, uh, who are some of the other guys from Manchester and Tullahoma that are playing with you? Uh, Michael Goins is playing with us. He's from Manchester. Uh, Nick Mann is from Manchester. Jeffrey, he's from Manchester. Uh, Aaron Bennett, he's from Tullahoma. Uh, Jacob London, uh -huh. he's from Tullahoma. Uh, we do want to call out one guy that we wish would play and come on out to practice starting tomorrow. It will be Montreal Berry. Yeah, I remember. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. And uh, Kel and Cameron. Running back, right. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Kel and uh, Cameron Greenway will also be playing with us yeah. as well. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. What about Warren County now? I may not remember all these names but because we actually do their football shows, but uh, I'm, uh, we do go to Warren County, so I'm sure a lot of folks will. So tell us. Well, we got a quarterback, Preston Smith. He's a very smart mobile. Uh-huh. Uh, Heath Chris, wide receiver. He's pretty fast and a... Uh, Big Matt Turner, he played at UTC many years ago, back uh -huh. when I played. And we got a guy named John Simmons, he played safety, played at Kentucky. So those those are pretty the, the notable players anyway. This is just the coolest thing, and that's coming, coming up on the August the 11th, right? August 13th, 13th will be Saturday August. night game, okay. under the lights. Uh, Sorry, full. you gave me my cheat sheet here, but the glare was on. <laughs> I couldn't read it. So. We got, uh, you'll see some of these posters around town. Uh, it's August 13th, 7 o'clock, and uh, we'll, we'll kick off, and we'll have the Voice of Tullahoma out there. We'll have the Jumbotron going, and, uh, you know, National Anthem and everybody out there. Uh, we'd like to invite anybody who is interested in being a part of fundraising, being a part of coming out and, and supporting the counties uh, to, to get in touch with us. They can get in touch with us calling 844-2-GET-HIT. To get hit. <laughs>
We'll be right back in a moment with more news later on 6. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party Party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift quickly. Brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's going to be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Works of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor stat. Welcome back. Tom Corrington, host of the Grassroots Show here on Channel 193, spoke recently with candidates in the August primary for the Republican Party nomination for state senator. As we mentioned last time, uh, we're in the middle of the political season and we're carrying on uh, this morning uh, with the second of uh, three shows that we'll do. And uh, we're concentrating on the uh, state Senate seat. And so uh, we have with us our guest this morning, uh, Ms. Janice Bowling, Senator Janice Bowling, whom uh, you're uh, somewhat familiar with, and uh, Mike Wilcher from uh, McMinnville, who is a, uh, a novice in the political process. So we'll be interesting to hear from him. Uh, Warren County, and you have uh, how many candidates you got in your? Six. In Senate District 16, which is the first time to have this configuration, uh, it's easy if you look on the map and see Grundy County in the middle of a daisy, and then the six petals that surround Grundy, Coffee, Warren, Van Buren, Sequatchie, Marin, and Franklin. They all are contiguous with each other, contiguous with Grundy, except for Van Buren. There's a little place where you could throw a rock and hit Van Buren from Grundy, but it's the only one that's not exactly contiguous, but it's contiguous with Sequatchie and Marion. <laughs> I mean, in Warren. Has a, has a foot in the door. It does. Huh? It yeah. does. Okay. Well, let's give uh, give the folks a, a, a chance to get acquainted with you a little bit. Uh, and Janice, uh, they probably know you pretty well, but at any rate, uh, you got something you want to say? Well, I am Janice Bowling and uh, live here in Tullahoma with my husband, Temple. We've raised our family here and was an alderman for 15 years, was district director in a congressional office. I've been the president of many uh, 501c3s that have served our community and our region. And I guess that's why a lot of friends four years ago, actually five years ago, they encouraged me to run. And so I put my name in the hat five years ago, was elected four years ago this November, and have served my first term as senator for the people of the seven counties we just mentioned. Okay, very good. Uh, Mike, give them a little of your background. My name is Michael Wilcher. I'm a county commissioner, first term from Warren County, Tennessee. Uh, I've not got any more political experience than the last couple of years as a county commissioner, so I'm very in touch with just the people on the local level in Warren County, and I'm hoping maybe just to get a conversation started. I don't really think I'm going to unseat this woman beside me. I think she's done a good job. She'll have my vote, but I do hope to get a conversation started about how younger people and people who are still working paycheck to paycheck aren't those that lead our country. Let's, uh, well, I don't know, Mike, you, anything you want to add to the question of how come you're doing this anyway? Well, in Warren County, I had experienced uh, lack of representation for myself. I, I had went to our leaders with s several issues in Warren County uh, government and they never addressed them publicly and they never fixed them so that bothered me and I'm one of those people like a lot of us who had sat around for years and said man if, if I were able to do that I would do it differently and it got to the point where you know I had to stop talking about it and I had to at least try it and uh, so that's that's why I got into it I wasn't being serviced like a lot of people in Warren County wanted to be and how we we uh, we should be serviced as people so that was the main impetus of me running at that time to try to bring accountability and transparency to our local government. Okay. 
All right, uh, let's uh, move on up to the Senate. Uh, as uh, far as you're concerned, is the Senate uh, working okay, or does it have some things that need fixing? Uh, Janice, you, you've been there, so let's start with you. I've been there, and I think we've been working great, and as a matter of fact, uh, this next session, should I earn the right to serve you again, we'll have a new uh, lieutenant governor. Uh, Ron Ramsey has announced that he's stepping down, and so uh, the probable new lieutenant governor will be uh, Randy McNally. That hasn't been voted on yet. It will be voted on by the Senate caucus uh, in December. But we have done a lot to back up of government overreach, we're still working to do that. We have eliminated over $500 million in taxes and fees that have come out of the pockets of Tennesseans. When you put a half a billion dollars back into the economy, that's a good thing because not only are you putting it back in, you're not taking additional money out. We've eliminated the hall tax, which is a very important thing for retirees and for people who are looking as to whether or not to stay in Tennessee once they've had a successful career and they plan to live on what they have invested and the, and the proceeds from that. But in Tennessee, we don't tax you while you're working, but then we tax you after you retire. That just did not <laughs> seem equitable. So yeah. we are eliminating that hall income tax. Those are some good things. And don't forget to tune into this week's Living Show tonight at 6.30 p.m. Thursday morning at 9 a.m. and uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evening at 6.30 p.m. This week's guests include Jackie Lolly from the Grundy County Swiss Society who will invite everyone out to their Swiss festival this weekend. The 41A Music Festival lineup has been announced and we'll get all the details about the seventh annual festival. Also, Paul, uh, Tullamore Police Chief Paul Blackwell will remind everyone that they need to slow down for the school zones this week. All that and more on this week's Living. And stay with us, we'll have your weather forecast right after these messages. The Kia Summers on Us sales event is going on right now at Russell Barnett Kia of Tullahoma. Let me tell you about this event. Purchase a new Kia Sedona, Kia Optima, Kia Forte and receive 0% financing up to 66 months and your first three payments for free. For a limited time only, no strings attached. With America's best warranty, the 10-year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty, Kia is the power to surprise. The Kia Summers on Us sales event going on right now. Why buy anywhere else? It's your trademark. That's something special everyone knows and remembers. It's your thing. It's made holidays special for decades. And summer's unforgettable for the entire neighborhood. It's made everyone laugh every single time. Don't let illness or injury keep you from doing your thing. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1952 at 100 degrees. The record low was in 1948 at 57 degrees. The average high on this day is 89 and the average low is 68. Partly cloudy weather in the forecast for tonight with a low of around 71. 60% chance of storms in tomorrow's forecast with a high expected of 90 and a low of 70. Uh, that 60% chance of storms remains in the forecast for Thursday with a high of 82 and a low of 69. And Jim, we'd like to acknowledge uh, one of our own got some acknowledgement last week as uh, Channel 6's own C.J. Henry uh, was awarded a proclamation and uh, Mayor Curley declared it C.J. Henry Day last Friday on his birthday and uh, wanted to give a thumbs up to C.J. for that. All right. And happy, <laughs> hope he had a happy birthday. I'm sure he How did. How could you not have a happy birthday when... It's when your it's day. Your day in the city of Tullahoma. That's Way to right. go, CJ. Yes. <laughs> and that's our news leader report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for News Leader on 6. You have a good evening. Have a great evening.